first in this video you're going to see some photos uh, before we get into the investigation when we first arrived at the house in Holden we took some photos um, basically to try to disprove a photo that they took that they thought was an apparition which I will show try to show that photo first in this and then I'll show the photos that we took afterwards to just kind of disprove the fact that it was a ghost and in fact it was probably just light bouncing off the walls um, and then after that I'll get into the actual footage for the investigations so. That's high EMF, because and that uh, you're above the detector. The, fire attack, the smoke alarm. The yeah, smoke alarm is giving it off. No, that's a wire up above him. Oh wait, go. It's not so high there. Go back over to where that picture was that you were. It's nothing there. And that might be too Closer why my K2 is going off in here last time. Closer I get to the ceiling, it's going off. Let me see your K2. Where's your K2 at? Mm. All over the ceiling. That might be why we were getting K2 ring readings in here last time. Yeah. I didn't have the Look. EMF detector, so... There's nothing. I wish I did. Shit. Here, let's get this. I'm thinking that EMF is... Look, I'm not getting anything on this. This is great. I'm thinking that EMF might be a lot more sensitive. Oh, I don't right. think so, because it's not very sensitive yeah, at that, home. Yeah, I was getting a really, really high. I was right getting... here. Uh-huh. See, K2 is doing the same thing. Well, that one's really high. That one's over a thousand. I'm only getting 400 throughout the house. And that one's over like 1200 to 1300. Right There's orange over here. What does it mean when it's orange? High I mean, velocity of electricity? I think so. If it goes all the way up, it's not a good sign. Right. Unless we're, you know, unless we're talking to an entity, then. <laughs> but that's what we wanted to spy. Yeah. Yeah, it's right here. There's like nothing over here. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Yeah, but like, it's not, there's nothing over there, but when it gets to the middle part. When I get about right here. Right. And that's where a wire's probably running right down here. to that light switch. Uh-huh. Alright, well, when they show up, we need to... Let them know. I think we need to... I mean, we're gonna ask them if we're experiencing any... Symptoms because I'm thinking. Right here. They're losing me. They're losing me. Here you go, Mark. All right. All right. Recording session one. I got the K2 EMF. Derek and Dusty are with me in the hallway. Derek is in the bedroom. Yes. Um. All right. Is there anybody here with us? If you are here with us, can you please light up the K2 right now? Make it go all the way to red if you can. Are you the lady that we talked to last time we were here? Can you make a noise? Can you make a knock? All you have to do is walk in front of that K2 and it'll light up. And nothing in it down there will hurt you. The one is just an EMF detector. It'll, it will try to detect you and uh, more or less just make sure the K2 isn't lying to us. And the other is just a digital recorder so you can talk into it and we can hear you. Can you make it light up?
Are you attached to the baby that's in the room? Are you attached to the kids in, in the house? Okay. Can you knock again? Uh, nobody knocked in here. Okay. Can you knock again? Are you a kid? Do you like to play with with the the kids in the house? Are All right. You a, are you upset that they changed the rooms around? Come on, light that up. I think you're a coward. You're not going to light it up. Oh, it did light up a little bit. Come on. It's been, it's been doing that. Yeah, it doesn't really get off of green. No. I'm thinking that might be because it's a little bit closer to that heater. So it might be illuminating just a little bit from that heater. Not enough to throw it off, but... Yeah, well, your EMF hasn't done anything. No. Come on, light it all the way up to red. I don't believe you. I don't believe you're here. I don't think so. You have to do something a lot more stronger than that to make me believe you're here. There's a little ball sitting right by one of the in the middle of the room if you want to if you can move that. I'll even make it easier on you. I'm gonna move this. I'll move this K2 right here in this room now. It's gonna be right there in the room. Right there in the middle. And I'll move this stuff away so it doesn't scare you. All you gotta do is light that K2 up. It's not hard to do. All you gotta do is walk right in front of that K2 and it will light up. Or if you don't want to light that K2 up and you want to move that ball, go ahead. If I see the ball move, I will leave the room. Do you speak a foreign language? Como estas? Huh? Como estas? E two. Como te llama? <laughs> what is your name? Como te llama? Koto. <laughs> I can't even talk now. Como se llama? Uh huh. I don't know very much Spanish, but.
All right. If you're in this room right now, I want you to light that K2 all the way up. Can you light it up now? There's nobody in front of it. Everybody's far back. By the way, Dusty and Derek are in the room with me. We're in the master bedroom. Are you in here with us now? Can you make a knock? That's, uh, Derek is checking over something in there. Hold up, let me close the door. Okay. That's, he's checking, yeah, he's okay. checking over the camcorder. Doggy. No. We should have put a recorder in here, too. Didn't think about that. It's the kids' room. Well, and her waking up in the middle of the night isn't anything out of the ordinary. Not necessarily. Yeah. Because I was thinking too, my mom does that quite often. She'll wake up right in the middle of the night. But I think it's more of a motherly thing. It is. You, get, you wake up wide awake and then the first thing mom usually does is come back to check on us and see what's going Well, make sure we're okay. And then she goes back to bed. Oh, that could have been your flashlight on there. I thought I was seeing something. Anything light up over there? Nothing. Can you make it light up? I don't know. I've, I've got a calm in this house since I've got here today. It just doesn't seem... It right. doesn't seem to have that eerie feeling or anything like you normally get like when we go to like... Lone Jack? Lone Jack or when we, go, we went to that cemetery. This, has, this just has a different feeling altogether. It just seems a lot more calm in here than it did There's up there. Nothing. It doesn't feel like I, I feel. It feels empty. Like there's nothing here. Okay, so I was able to go over the evidence of the last couple of days. Went over the stuff on my camera, and I went over stuff on my dish recorder and my cheap camera here. Wasn't able to find any evidence whatsoever. Uh, video on the, the cheap one probably isn't going to be anything really all that great to look at. I really need to get some better cameras eventually, but um, I thought I heard a couple of knocks on my big camera, but when I li listened back here on my digital recorder, I found out it was really nothing. There was a lot of knocks that night, uh, mainly come from the heater, so it was easily disproven and thrown out. Uh, I had a couple kids on my K2 later on in the bedroom, but they were easily thrown out because I was walking next to them with my cell phone on, not thinking about it, and they just went off. So those two things were just easily thrown out. I'm not going to worry about them. When in doubt, throw them out. Uh, but we were able to put a lot of minds at ease, especially with like a photo they taken. We were able to prove that it might have been actually the light bouncing off in the room that caused an illusion. Um, also, they have cars that drive by, and you know, with their blinds, it might be easy to see a shadow moving from left to right through the hallway. You know, and then lastly, her waking up in the middle of the night and the baby waking up in the middle of the night. We're kind of 
going to add up is, you know, just coincidental. So, again, not able to find any evidence of anything paranormal. But, oh, and another thing, too, we were able to find was high EMF in there, which can cause, you know, anything from headaches, nausea, to hallucinations, to make you think you're seeing something when you're really not. So, I mean, all those things contributing, I think we're coming to the conclusion that that place is not haunted. So, and there is no paranormal activity. So, I think that the family there can easily put, you know, it'll easily put their minds at ease and we'll be able to move on. Very successful investigation, though. I think I was very, very happy with the, how everything went and... How we were able to just go through one by one and just say, okay, this could be this, this could be this. And then we were just able to knock it all out. And we did it in a very professional way. So I I could not be happy with how it all went down. And like I said, and we're able to pre present the client with, you know, enough stuff to back up the fact that it's not haunted. So...